Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is today. The What If promo is here. Brand new promo, first time ever being released in FIFA 21. We're going to talk about it, talk about that loading screen, what we're expecting today market-wise, content-wise, and then also talk about some potential um, things that I'm going to be looking to expect with icons, road to the finals, and just the market in general because there are a lot of saved up packs and that affects the market a really, really big amount today. We've seen it impact the market during Future Stars, during Team of the Year, all that sort of stuff. So we'll talk about that today. But just to take another look at this loading screen and to kind of decipher it for you guys, it looks like we have three players right here. Now, these players are in discussion, up for discussion right now. This one looks like Papu Gomez. This one looks like it's either Rusillian or Mbabu. And this one over here, some people are saying Conte. Some people are saying Jorginho. Uh, there's a lot of options or a couple options for this Chelsea player, Rudiger possibly as well. We don't really know who that is. There's some leaks circling around, but of course, leaks are only leaks until they're proven true um, on some of these players that could get into this what if promo. So hopefully we have awesome team selection today. You know, I'm, I'm positive because I'm going to be pretty positive about the upgrades when I see this probably being Papu Gomez getting a plus two on an already pretty cracked 88 rated card. Uh, of course, this might be a mixture of some newly transferred cards. So you have the potential of maybe like a Cavani getting in, or um, maybe it's just a mixture of like uh, cards that were transferred during la the summer, during the winter, uh, or just random cards that EA want to put in. So we're not really sure what's going on with this. I also want to touch on winter upgrades today because that I guess could be coming as well. We'll see. Um, but this is our loading screen right now. And as you can see in the bottom right here, it says one clean sheet, five games. And then behind my face cam at the top up here, it says six goals. So again, that almost cements the fact that it's something to do with live items that get upgraded based off of actual in real life game objectives. So like a team scoring in five games, scoring six goals, or a team in five games getting one clean sheet. If there's a, a goalkeeper or a defender from that team, you would think that they would get upgraded. Or a six goals being scored in five games by one team, you would think that the attackers or the midfielders would get upgraded. That seems to be, from our just kind of little bits of understanding from what this promo screen shows, what we should be seeing today and what we should be expecting. Of course, there's going to be a lot of confusion today, right? We're going to have to relearn or learn for the first time what this promo is all about. And that's going to cause a little bit of confusion, I think, just because we're going to have to understand it right away and see if all that we think we know now is actually correct. So be prepared to do a little bit of that today when the content does drop. I'll be live on Twitch, of course, reviewing this right away as it does drop. And of course, going over the market and making some coins as well. But these are the official card designs again. Again, we have the card that is the non-upgraded. I think this is called the um, the What If. And then this is the What If Plus card design. That's the names of these cards with the arrows lit up and, of course, the little bit of edges, the graphics around the outside for signifying that boost. But, uh, yeah, I'm really interested to see what this is today. And also, since it's a normal promo Friday and we haven't had a promo in a couple weeks... There's a lot of market movements that I think we can be on the watch for today as well related to icons, related to Road to the Finals, and just general stuff that's happening on the market with cards related to these brand new um, items that will be coming out. Now, of course, content-wise today, I'm still expecting an objective player because, again, these are live items. And day one, every Friday of a promo, EA has been releasing objectives. That's something they've been pretty spot on with. Now, of course, these are out for a long time. They're going to be staying here. And the objectives category right now is really, really busy, right? There's a lot to do in terms of game plan objectives. But I do think that EA will release some sort of what if card today with objectives or through objectives. And that has demand, right? There's going to be people that will do that objective because it is a live card that is upgrading. And if it's especially somebody who is meta, who is popular from a big team, um, people just love free cards, especially if they're a live item. So be on the lookout for an objective today for a what if player. And I think we'll get some sort of SBC today too for a player, some sort of player SBC, whether it's a what if card, maybe a player moments, maybe a flashback uh, or something like that. We do have a lot of stuff expiring, the bronze upgrade, silver upgrade, the mid prime icon, the 82 to 88 and Curtis Jones are all expiring today on Friday. They're going away. Of course, we still have a mid-icon upgrade that is out. We still have the two flashbacks, El Shirawi and Tony Cruz. And I believe 
maybe way back here at the back. Uh, we still have, yeah, Franck Ribéry with seven days left. And there's that repeatable mid-icon upgrade. So potentially uh, some more stuff coming related to um, player SBCs today. I would expect one of those as well. So let's talk about the market though, because along with this new promo today, which we of course discussed, we're just, there's a lot of question marks around it, uh, which that can cause panic. We'll talk about that too. But today we're expecting new icon moments players. As you can see on the tile here, it's got 34 icon moments. Those were released last week. A lot of these cards have dropped in price big time over the past couple of hours, couple of days, the ones that are on the market, uh, like here's an example, right? Prime Fernando Torres, 4.3 million coins. This guy was selling at six mil last week. Big, big drop-offs on these cards. It's probably going to continue into the morning this morning because people who are trying out these brand new Prime Icon moments, if we get a new set released today, which I think we'll probably get 33 more today, probably the, I think they're going to release them in batches of three most likely. And I would expect this promo to be a two-week promo, probably 11 players in packs today, one objective, one SBC, and then of course the brand new Icon moments that are in packs. I would expect that too. But kind of what I'm expecting today with Icons is panic selling on the moments pre 6 p.m. of course, because people are gonna feel like they're gonna get packed and there's gonna be new ones that will come out that people will wanna try. But I wanna keep an eye on some of the Prime Icons today as well. Here's our number one example. We talked about this earlier in the week. Prime Rio Ferdinand. Let's say for the 33 icons that get released today, a very meta card that a lot of people like to use is Real Ferdinand. This is his best version, the Prime. 1.9 mil, this is actually up like 100K from where he was. If Real Ferdinand's Prime Icon Moments is not released today, you're probably gonna see some panic selling before 6 p.m. on this Real Prime, because people might expect more Primes coming, Prime Moments or Prime Real's card. But if it doesn't come, I do think you will still see a bounce back on a lot of icons. If you guys remember last week, there was a huge bounce back on icons in general. Um, after we got to the, there's a lot of sell off because of swaps and because of icon moments coming on the market and the icons drop big time and they bounce back. Now icons are up a lot from where they were last night, 81 points up to 84 points on the index icon. A lot of these guys are going up. Um, I do expect to see panic selling again this morning because People are really curious about what this what if promo is, right? There's, we don't really know exactly what it is, what players are gonna be in, how big the booths are gonna be, how easily upgraded these cards will be. So there's a lot of, I guess, questioning that. Also, we're not sure what new Prime Icon moments will be in packs. And we gotta talk about winter upgrades as well because that's still a conversation that has to be mentioned. Uh, we've got guys that have been added to this game like Cavani, Balotelli, Gutza, uh, that you know we're expecting possibility for them to get some sort of new special card uh, or even just have like a gold item in packs. So that, more information, hopefully we get winter upgrades today. I, maybe they're not doing it this year. I, I really don't know. But uh, all I would say is we have literally no information on the potential winter upgrade situation right now. Um, unless EA drops something on us today, I'm, I'm really not knowing what to expect. You have cards like the Sun, who was supposed to get an upgrade, who is still inflated. We're just really not sure what's going to be happening with a card like Sun uh, today in FIFA with all that's going on. But back to the market talk for a second. I do think you will see panic selling on icons. I think you'll see a little bit of selling on the whole market in general, right? If we look at out of pack special cards, uh, you know, a lot of stuff, I do think we'll see some sell off today. I don't know how crazy it will be, but I do know that right now, this is a brand new promo starting. People have saved packs and we'll talk about that in a second. A lot of packs are gonna be open right away and that's gonna create a lot of supply for stuff that is in packs in the first hour or so. But also, people are broke, right? People do not have a lot of coins. A lot of people almost quit FIFA after Future Stars was over because of all the coins that uh, people submitted into SBCs and especially into upgrade packs and upgrade SBCs. So you're seeing a lot of these cards are up a little bit right now, not a ton of them, but I'm just really, really wondering uh, tomorrow if we do see some sell-off, if the content is really good, if it's cards that people wanna get their hands on um, because that could cause a little bit of panic selling on the market. And of course, people love live cards in general. And I talked about this yesterday. People just love live cards so much that they will be willing to go and sell, um, to sell cards. Like think about when we had the, the new Future Stars come out, right? A lot of the out of packs market took a hit in price because people went out and they sold items that they had to uh, go try and buy 
the new ones, right? They did a lot of that. I think that could be happening today as well. Some substitute goods come out of the game. People always want to try the brand new item or the item that just got upgraded or whatever. Um, and I do think you will see panic selling because of that. I do still think you will see a nice rise post 6 p.m. UK because again, with all those saved up packs coming out into this game, I do think that there is a potential for a lot of coins to be put onto this market. If people have been playing FIFA and not opening packs, those are coins that could have been put onto the market earlier, but people haven't opened those packs. They've been saving since Future Stars ended because people now are in a sense that, you know, they don't open packs unless there's special cards that are out in the game because for them, it's like, is it really worth it right now? Because I know that there's gonna be a promo soon that I can just save my packs for and then try to pack something sick or have a better chance of packing something sick during that time frame, So that happens like all the time now. So I do think you're gonna see a mass spam of packs open in the first 30 minutes to an hour. And what that reminds me of is the first hour and what happened to these Future Stars Team 1 cards. I don't know if you guys remember, but the supply on these guys was nuts. This Reese James right back card in the first 30 minutes of him being in packs was 370,000 coins. This Dest was 330. Bergwijn was like a million. He then went to 1.2. Kamavinga was like 2.2 mil, then he went to 2.9, um, Reyna was like 1.5, and he went to 1, I, I was crazy, right? Subasly went from like 400 something K to 800 K. So there's potential, if the cards are hyped today, if it's good players, if it's big stat boosts, and they're not crazy, crazy expensive, if it's cards like this team that you see here, couple cards over a million coins, but a lot of cards in that like 300 to 800 K range, that's doable for a lot of people on FIFA. They will sell other items to go try, or they'll, they'll sell before the content drop to sell to get items that they can then afford later on in the day. So I'm just saying, watch out for some big time fluctuations in the first hour or so uh, with brand new promo cards that come out today for this what if promo. Now I will say this, right? I will say this because um, you always you can't just expect to, the cards to be the lowest in that first hour. You have to use your general market knowledge and sense to know. Like if Reese James would have came out in that first hour and we would have said, hey, these cards are going to be low, uh, but he was still like 600,000 coins, we would have been like, okay, now knowing that he's 700K, maybe that's a bad example. But like, let's say Sergio Dest was 500K and it was in the first 30 minutes that he was out. Like, that's not a 500K card right off the bat if there's a lot of pack supply coming. You kind of have to use your general market sense as well and think, okay, is this card with the stats that it has in the league and the position that it has with the links and how OP it looks with the stats, could it be undervalued or overvalued? And it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a gamble. But when we know that we have so many packs um, being open in that short time frame, it does make it interesting. Also, what applies to that and what makes a difference in the amount of supply we see in the first half an hour to an hour depends on the pack weight, right? We'll look at the pack probabilities tomorrow. We'll see, hey, for a what if player, what is the percentage that you can pack? What, How likely is it for you to pack a card out of a certain pack type, right? Usually for like 50 and 100K packs, it's between like one to four or five percent, and that's pretty normal. But if they, it's on the higher end of that, you might see a lot of supply, and cards might get really cheap during that first hour, just because of all the packs that are spam opened. Another thing that happens when packs are spam open in that first hour is SBC fodder drops. Even if it's an SBC coming out today that is pretty good value, that is decently hyped, there's going to be so many different things pulling so many people different ways today at 6 p.m. when the content drops. Icon moments, right? Maybe winter upgrades, a new objective, a new SBC. It's going to be pulling people everywhere. So, Fodder is still going to drop, in my opinion, because all the people will be looking everywhere else instead of that, that new SBC that they'll have to go out and buy cards for. You know, they're not going to go and do that pronto right away. Most people won't. And they're going to be opening their packs first, right? Or opening lightning rounds. So definitely keep an eye on uh, the fodder market today. Now, it is down a little bit. If we take a look at some of these graphs, we did have marquee matchups yesterday, which, which did drop the market, but it has rebounded back a little bit as people continue to do SPCs, I would expect this stuff to drop and a lot of open bids to be very OP. A lot of OP open bids um, an hour after the first lightning rounds drop. So everybody opens their packs, then they get back on the market, they try the new cards, they do the SPC, they start working on the objective. 
uh, and stuff like that. So watch the first hour and then the second hour for the bids of lightning of lightning round supply and saved up pack supply for this fodder market because I do think it could drop some of those cards and with the amount of SPCs we have out and the stuff that EA keeps putting out, um, having fodder is fodder is in very high demand right now and you can tell just by how expensive the prices are. So uh, yeah, that that's kind of what we're expecting to kind of go on today. Uh, road to the final items. We have the UEL draw. The Europa League draw is early this morning, not too, I mean, a couple hours after I'm uh, releasing this video, but we've seen a lot of movements today on these cards. A lot of movements. We made some coins over here. We also lost some coins, but I think we brought up, broke out on the positive. So that's going to be very interesting to see what this draw looks like today for the Europa League, what teams get matched up. And then there's going to be some price movements based off of what matchups are drawn today um, from that draw uh but also the cards that are getting upgrades right so cards that we're moving on to the europa league round of 16 like a bombing like rashford like kessie they are going to get their upgrades tonight late night on friday um and then also all the champions league cards like from manchester city or from real madrid who won their first leg that was earlier this week this week are going to get upgraded too now a couple market movements i have to point out here a couple movements right because we've been looking at these rttf cards a lot in the past day or so. Quincy Promes, first one I want to look at. Uh, we talked about this a little bit, but Quincy Promes has transferred back to Spartak Moscow from Ajax. And he is still, according to some people, they think he is a live card because he was in that roster for the first leg. So people are saying he could get upgraded because he was in the roster. But technically, I think the way that EA have worded it, they have said, and we talked about this yesterday in the video, they have said that if a player is not on the roster, for that game that they will not get upgraded and Quincy Promise is no longer on the IX roster. So it's a fine line here. This card is almost acting like it is live still. People are buying it, they're investing in it. I bought one today after the game um, because Ajax did move on to the round of 16. I bought one at 162 or something, 160 something. He's back to 180. Um, so definitely keep your eyes on that. Uh, but when the cards get upgraded tonight, there's a lot of people that are still holding these road to the final. So just be a little careful with uh, people that have invested. If you see, if you see panic selling on these today, though, I will say that this it's a very potential investment opportunity. If you see a very good potential investment opportunity, if you see panic selling on some road to the finals based on the content that comes out, if it's a meta card like this Joao Cancelo, who's very invested in right now, if this would somehow drop to like 480,000 coins, he's getting a plus one upgrade guaranteed later tonight. Keep your eyes out on, on Road to the Final cards that get Panic Sold this morning. And that would be a that'd be one major place I would keep your eyes out for. Now, of course, as I'm recording this right now, we do not have any card design uploaded for the Champions League or Europa League Man of the Match, which is very disappointing. We have nothing uh, a alongside that yet, which is confusing. We thought we should be getting those cards soon, but maybe potentially they upgrade those, they add those to the code, and we do see um, Europa League and, or uh, Champions League man of the matches. But as of right now, I don't think I'm expecting those if I don't see anything else coming out. So today on FIFA, brand new promo, winter upgrades, maybe, maybe not happening. We'll have to see what EA decides. Of course, we got Road to the Final upgrades later in the nighttime. We got the draw this morning. We got new Icon Moments cards, more fluctuations with that. We got a lot of stuff coming out in terms of the um, saved up packs, right? We're definitely going to have to keep an eye on those cards. And I think I got it all. I, I think I might have covered it all. I, I Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything. But, um, oh, also one really quick thing. Some cards are already rising. Like this Akanji, I bought one on stream for 460, and I actually already sold it at 500k. Uh, but he's back up to now 530,000 coins. He just got his price range update, uh, and people are investing in this and like Reese James and other Chelsea cards because the links to that whoever is on the loading screen. So just keep an eye out there. Even Zakaria might be up a little bit, I think. Um, because people are investing in this with the potential links to that quote-unquote Mbabu or Rusillian who could be on the loading screen because a lot of people think that it is Mbabu. If I were you, if you're making coins on this stuff because you think it's one of those players, these are invested in a lot. I would cash out pre-6 p.m. tomorrow. And of course, when you're looking out on the market today for panic selling, cards to look for, I want to talk about this. Remember just rarity and remember hype. You don't always have to go for a link investment, but one player that is rumored to come out today, 
would be somebody like Anthony Martial. So you might look at a guy like this Pogba in form who sells really great for lazies. Manchester United links. The French links have been doing pretty well anyways because of Fofana and other in-form cards that have been out. Some people are saying Anthony Martial gets in today. So maybe take a look at some of your French links from the Prem or just French links in general, French icons, right? That would be kind of cards or just really, really rare cards in general. This Mane is very, very rare, right? This A. Maxman, really, really rare. Usman, really rare. Of course, they're a little bit more expensive, right? But just kind of rack your brain, know these cards a little bit and say, hey, I know which cards are really rare. This Teo Hernandez, a lot of these guys, the team of the group stages, Holland is 265. He's not getting upgraded, right? These are not live. Let me tell you, once again, these are not live. So just kind of keep in mind that you know which cards are a little bit more rare, which ones are more meta and more, you know, in demand on this game. Those are the ones that I would expect to bounce back on. I think for my personal self, I might try to flip some of the new cards that come in the first hour. We'll see what the prices look. But other than that, I'm definitely going to be looking out for road to the final items. And I'm definitely going to be watching icons, I think, because once all of this sells, I'm going to be sitting over 3 million coins. Uh, we've been on a coin making tear the past couple of weeks. For the amount of coins that I have, I'm very, very pleased with how I've been able to maximize those and make profit recently. Um, I'm feeling really, really happy about that. And it's only onwards and upwards from here. My goal is like 10 million coins by team of the season, which is not that far away. But since we're already at 3 mil, that's only going to keep compounding as we have more coins to buy more cards and to make more flips. So that's kind of how we're feeling about today with the what if promo coming to FIFA. It's going to be fun. Again, I'll be live down below in the link twitch.tv backslash the foot account. I'll be streaming live there, of course, with the content drop, with the promo drop. If you guys have any questions, of course, drop them down below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you're excited for a big day of the brand new what if promo also, Hit the sub button if you're new, all right? Join join the crew, join the firm, I guess, if you will. Accountants work in firms, so yeah, join the firm. All right, boys, big day today on Friday. We'll see what happens. Let's Hopefully, EA lives up to the hype, and hopefully, match creation comes back, too. We haven't been able to play FIFA forever. Not that anyone plays the game, but uh, no icon swap grind, no weekend league. Extend the weekend league, EA. We got a lot of issues with the gameplay. That's a whole nother conversation, but anyways, it's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>